In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicott. To the Vundacast, the official podcast of Vundablog.com. The podcast that knows that if they had booked Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus at WrestleMania 30, <laughs> the the New Orleans would have rioted. Yeah, right. I am your host, Steven. I am D-Rock, non-binary world champ. And we are in the Dungeon of Doom, and it's... Royal Rumble season, and so we're firing up the Vundacast for the year to enjoy, to experience the 10th anniversary of the 2014... One of the most singular Royal Rumbles, I would think, in its own way. And I, a Royal Rumble that we, I believe we watched, we watched together. at your house, yeah. And uh, this was a you know a huge night in the history of WWE, maybe one of the darkest nights. Yeah. In the history of WWE, and let's let's enjoy it now as uh, Justin Roberts, the Dabry right. Epper. Yeah, we got Justin Roberts on screen. We're gonna future AEW commentator. Stephen, you want to count us down? Oh, in three, two, fun, boom. Mm. Justin Roberts just said Royal Rumble match. It's your sync up spots. <clears throat> it can be within a few seconds, you know, like. As long as the they can't hear it on the TV, then it's like weird. But. So this this was us. It looks like Britt Baker. <laughs> it does. So this was us getting back into. Yeah. It might be Britt Baker. This is Philadelphia. It, it, yeah. Oh, she's, is That's Baker. true. Kind of Philadelphia. Pittsburgh's near Philadelphia, right? Yeah. Um. So yeah, we were getting into wrestling again, mm-hmm. and this was like the apex of things, you know. I think yeah, this is. Like, it was like this was like a seminal moment after. In wrestling history. I think after WrestleMania 29, uh, we started watching like on a regular basis again, and not that long after that, I think like. Daniel Bryan started to become become a big thing, so that kind of hooked us in. Well, I remember I remember getting into him during when he was tag teaming with Kane. Yeah. As Team Hell No. Um, and that was really fun. Uh, and here we have CM Punk, have who mutton chop CM we Punk couldn't. I can't believe is in going to be in the Royal Rumble this year, I know, it's 2024. Crazy. So crazy. Will he enter at number one again? I don't think he can and go, go that the long. distance. <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't you remember his long and successful AEW championship race <laughs> that were not plagued with immediate injury? Yeah. Yeah. Like it, CM Punk but wants he, to. Uh, he you gets know, the marathon thon man spot in this in this rumble. It's pretty cool. He he literally he broke down in both. Championship matches he had, like that's got a that's that's a that's a stain that no other wrestler has in wrestling that I know about. Yeah, has he like, to have two championship reigns that literally ended on the same night that you found them? Like, yeah, right. Who else holds that record? I know, right? Who? And like, does fuck? I was just, I just Seth had a thought. Rollins versus CM Punk to open the Royal Rumble and they are in the feud this year 
and has, they're most likely going to be each other's WrestleMania yeah. opponents. Has 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 CM Punk had a pay per view match yet in WWE? No, I think he just had a Madison Square Garden. So match. his first match back in a pay per view. In a pay per view. Well, what's interesting is the same as his last match. Yeah. Before he left. What's interesting too is this is the last pay per view that WWE did before going to the WWE network. This is the last time we well, actually had to pay for pay per view. It's actually there was a chamber after this. There was a chamber and the and chamber was Mania. a few days before the launch of the WWE Network. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so that was a real pay-per-view? Or maybe the day before, actually, because I think they launched it the, that, that Monday, and I literally did nothing else but watch wrestling for the entire week that it, that it launched. So this is a preview of... Yeah. No, and there were all kinds of problems because WrestleMania was like the first. I mean, they did you know, those glitches. And stuff. They did yeah. the NXT event, and that like just glitched out for half the people. Mm-hmm. I was one of the lucky ones that actually saw it, but a bunch of people like it glitched out on the Tyler Breeze match, and so a lot of people were complaining. And then even on WrestleMania, like I mean, the sheer load of we had to buy it. Remember, like the the, mm-hmm. the app was fucking up so bad. But eventually they uh, they figured it out. So. Seth Rollins drop kick. Will we see that happen this year in the Royal Rumble? It's so weird seeing his him in Shield form now. Like it's like such a relic now at this point. Especially with how flamboyant he is now, it's like I know, right? Such yeah. a one eighty. It's such a totally different, yeah. It's uh, hey, there's a lot of character growth in WWE. That's you know, that's just all done in your life. And outfit. as flamboyant as as he's gotten now, he still has never gone back to like dying part of his hair. Interestingly enough. Uh, he's probably he's probably sick of it, I imagine. <laughs> oh Damien shit. Sandow. Damien Sandow. Oh man. AKA Aaron Stevens currently in in uh, NWA. Oh really? Yeah, he like did an angle where like he was forced to retire. Oh wow. And now he's, I think he's, like, managing people and stuff, but he's still, like, doing wrestling things. That's the thing about NWA, like, there's a good number of wrestlers in NWA that I would like to see wrestle. I just don't ever want to, like, give them money or support them in any way, because they suck in so many ways. Mm, They maybe only suck in a few ways. I don't know. You saw them with the pumpkins. I did, yeah. I got to see Max... They are Max. <coughs> and that was fun. Live, that was very cool, yeah. Did anybody care? Did there people were people see. I mean, it was like before the concert started, so there were like, you know, it was right in the middle of like where all the food and stuff is, so people, then there's like picnic tables set up, uh-huh. and so people just sat there and like watched, and some people yelled stuff. And so you could just walk up and sit ringside? I, w- I walked up to like the rope, like to the, the barrier, like, uh-huh. I was just like, you know, yeah. No one really cared that much. So That's Max, awesome. woo! I hope there's some cool I would like surprises. To, I would year. like to see. I feel like there haven't been. It would be cool, like if AW. Cody Rhodes. Well, Cody was three. It was four. He's four. He's it's Sandow. four. Because him and Sandow okay. were feuding at the so time. So literally, too. the top four in this Royal Rumble, three out of four of them are in the 2024 Royal Rumble and could win it. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, that's true, yeah. Although I wonder... Seth Rollins has the title. He probably won't be in the Rumble. Not even could win. Like, the, the these three guys are, like, probably the only ones who could win the Royal Rumble. Without people getting pissed? Or, like, that... that, that I don't know. Not I, without people getting pissed, but, like, that I, is actually going to happen. I really hope Punk doesn't win the 2024. Oh my god, that would be so. That That, would be. It would be Batista all over. Like they, if they were gonna do that, they would do it with the knowledge that people would shit on it. Like you know, like I don't know. Maybe in Philly they wouldn't, but like it just seems like a Batista moment of like. I don't know. I would just feel personally hurt 
I'd be down if, like, they surprise me and, like, The Rock wins the Royal Rumble. Yeah, oh my god. No okay, way. that would be hilarious. That would be insane. Okay, and out of nowhere. Well, Cody did that too, though, and he entered 30, and he won it. It was, like, like right after he came back, basically. Or he came back from injury, like, he was gone for a while, that's why. It's not working, is it? Who's yeah. working? Uh, oh, it's still, is it? Okay, I thought it, like, stopped. It's still working. Okay. Still going. Okay. Oh, corporate Kane, the worst Kane. version of Kane. Well, except for Mayor Glenn Jacobs. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. A new worst form has arrived. A new worst form has arrived. Republican candidate Glenn Jacobs. He has evolved like a Pokemon. Did you see Trump's speech where he mentioned Kane where? and the Undertaker? No. <laughs> he was literally like, oh, that Mayor God. Glenn Jacobs, you know, he used to be... A wrestler came, okay, very, very tough guy, very, very, very big guy. How big were you? Three hundred pounds? Three hundred? <laughs> wow! That makes me my three hundred pounds not look like that much. <laughs> what the fuck? And then he, I literally think he said like, "Oh yeah, his brother, the Undertaker." Like, <laughs> it's a work, brother. Oh no! He's gonna be on WWE TV, isn't he? I hope. I hope he comes back for this Royal Rumble. And he oh eliminates my God! Is if he's a he, surprise entrant, and he eliminates CM Punk just like he does in this Rumble. No way! I thought he eliminated CM Punk. No, CM Punk eliminates Kane. CM Punk goes almost the distance. He's the marathon man. He's the marathon man. Yeah, I thought he goes, Kane. He goes. I think he got like sixty-three minutes in this. Who oh. was it? Was it Roman eliminates Punk? Roman eliminates a lot. This is where he set the record. I okay. think. The new record, Rusev, and this is this is the one time that Roman Reigns has ever been in the Royal Rumble, and everybody wanted him to win. Yeah, <laughs> especially well, when it's down to him and Batista. They had no other options. They were options. right. They were like, well, enough. but and not only that, but at the time, Roman Reigns was like by far the coolest member of the Shield. Everybody loved he Roman was. Reigns. So Miro did get in the ring with CM Punk at one point. Oh yeah, look at it's that. here in this moment. A little taste of Miro versus Cody. What could have been? I'm I'm wilding out seeing him with hair. This is weird for me. I don't know. I don't know why. He looks it like a dork with hair. It's it so looks funny. yeah, he does kind of yeah. He looks so much more badass with his head shaved for sure. So Punk is literally like no. At this point, he's like sick or whatever. Like he's yeah. wrestling with injury. The staff infection, right? Yeah. So staff infected up. Beat the staff infection out of him. Was it the Mira. Ryback thing that did it? Where he just threw him on the table and like missed and he basically just hit the concrete flat on his back? I don't know if that's the cause, but that's one of the moments in the podcast yeah. where CM Punk's like, <coughs> no, you either did that shit on purpose or you're a dumb fucking idiot. And he's like, I'm a dumb that's, fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely the second one. Yes. I'm a dumb fucking idiot. Remember those like the videos of uh, of uh, Ryan, whatever his name is, like in developmental, and Al Snow keeps on like shaming him for eating constantly. Ryan, Ryback. Oh, Ryback. Okay, I've never seen this. You, I, you had, I thought you had. I thought no. we saw them together. I don't think so. And he's always like hiding Twinkies in his pockets and shit and just like always eating shit. I don't know. I don't remember that. Oh my god, it's hilarious. Yo, it's Jake Hager and Miro throwing down. Look at this. How many people <laughs> How many in AEW, this Royal Rumble? How many like, AEW superstars in this match? I know, right? This is crazy. Oh shit. A Rusev Day chance for me? Rusev Day was a thing for a while, man. I don't know what happened. Well, I know what happened, obviously, but... It's more of an existential question. Whoa, a team-up. Cody, Seth, Jack Swagger, team-ups. There's... No, I don't think there's anybody in this match that hasn't been in AEW... <laughs> well, Seth well except for Seth. Yeah, there we go. That's what it was. Well, technically, he was in ROH. So technically, he's AW Jason. 
Yeah. Because he was an ROH But champion. he wasn't in AEW ROH. Yeah. Kofi. And this is a prime Kofi appearance in the Rumble, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think like, he does something fucking a, super cool. This, this is Rumble. a memorable appearance for yeah. him. Yeah, get rid of him. I th- oh, I was, I don't, no, you know what I think it is? I think I remember the spot. Should I spoil it? Or should Go for I? it. Yeah. I, think your it's, memory. I think it's the one where Rusev, like, slams him down on top of the barricade, and he, like, stands up on it and jumps to the Avery. <coughs> we'll see. We will see, yes. So the Royal Rumble, I think, you know, I think technically... It's like my favorite kind yes. of match. Yes. Like, I love a Battle Royale. Like, Battle Royale's awesome, but, like, the Royal Rumble's, like, the perfect I love, yeah, format. The staggered entrances. Of a match. Like, the get, surprise entrances. You get everyone's entrances. There's all you these. You get the chance that history could be opened up and, like, right. reawakened just for one more match for, like, one more or spot. Or to create new. Like, you can create so many new. I mean, that's what the Royal Rumble's all about, is creating all the feuds, basically, for WrestleMania in a lot of ways. And, like, yeah, you can get history, bring history into it. You can start new history between people. There's so many things. And there's so many opportunities for story time. Wow, old school. Jimmy! Pre-main event Usos Usos with the face paint, man. Wow. That's wild. But, yeah, that... The... Next time we do one of these, we gotta do... I think probably my favorite Royal Rumble that I've seen was 2018. It was just like so well put together and planned and orchestrated. Like, is they that the had, one that Shane McMahon put together? Or no? I don't know, but there's a uh, like. First of all, like they the 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 way that it ends, the final six, the final four, and the final two are like so perfect, mm-hmm. and. There's also this, like, running gag with Elias just, like, singing. <laughs> and I thought, oh, no, somebody, like, kicks his ass. And then every single person like, that comes out after that kicks Elias' ass somehow. <laughs> like, just, what like, pauses th- before they get in the ring to, like, kick Elias when he's down or something. What do you think of Elias now calling himself Elijah on the Indies? Oh, yeah. Um, I'd be interested to see what he would do on the Indies. I'd he like seems like see. an impact guy to me. Yeah. Yeah, so I could definitely like see that. Impact. Gold dust. He could he could Woo. be successful anywhere, I think, but he definitely would fit on impact for sure. Or TNA now. It's back to TNA. Oh, that's right. It is TNA. Fuck. Everything's changed and become the same in wrestling. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stay the same. It is. It is the case. Yeah. How do you think? You know, Dustin Rhodes got to be nearing a retirement match either. You know, this year or next right. year. Well, yeah. Like his you know, whole. Will his it be whole, a like, surprise retirement? His whole like Titantron is the last ride or whatever it's yeah. called. The last something. So, like, at some point, the last ride has to end, and, like, I don't know, maybe he wants to, like, end with Cody, or, I don't know, they said, I think they said they didn't want to do another one of those matches, because the, the first one was so perfect. It would make sense for him to leave AEW, go back to WWE, and get another story with Cody going. That would be pretty cool. That would be dope. That would be cool. I would, I'd be down, like, I'm not sure when the right Yeah, here, here we go. It's, it is. Oh. It is. I got. I called it. Yeah. See, he puts him down on that. Yeah, on the on the barricade. I think a great way to give like Swerve the title, like literally, mm-hmm. would be if like Dustin Rhodes wins the AW World Championship for like Whoa. a month. You Whoa. know, like a legacy, and then and, and then, you know. Because Dustin never got a crack yeah. at the world title here in uh, WWE, so I think a- I think AW giving him one. Yeah, for real. For the record. He's gotten a few TNT shots, but would be never, awesome. never the big one. That would be a cool retirement match. 
or he holds the title until, oh. and he says, I will, you know, retire once this title leaves my fucking hands. You know what right, I mean? yeah. That would be pretty dope. And then you can make a big villain off of it. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be... Is it gonna be... I can't remember. Diesel? Diesel? No, oh, not more yet. shields. More hounds. Let's go. He's so skinny. It's so weird seeing him when he was like yeah, he's put on a little normal build. His neck is just different now. Yeah. And he's got hair here too. Yes. Yeah. Kofi no. I'm trying to remember. I don't think there was. I don't know if there were any like surprise. I mean, Rey Mysterio. That's like the one. <laughs> yeah, the big surprise. Poor, poor Rey Mysterio. It's not Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Yeah. The first time his music hit, that people were like, "Fuck, who you can Yeah, fuck this guy. Six one. Who? One of my favorite bits from the r truth being in the new day now bit is him calling Dominic Mysterio Tom and Nick Mysterio, <laughs> and he's like, "I never met Nick yet, but <laughs> Tom's he's always a there. great guy." So the ring's pretty full right now. Yeah, we need a ring clear. It's prime. There's some. Spears? He's here to oh. show the world. And I bought that show off t shirt. I still wear it. Yeah, that's right. This is, you know, the formative days about it at Hot Topics. That's right, yeah. Yeah. And now Nick Nemeth is in TNA. TNA. And uh, I think his first feud is going to be with uh, Eddie he, Edwards, he, maybe? Didn't he like or Steve Macklin? Steve I thought Macklin? he confronted Moose. He did, at but the then, game. but then, but that was just like I want. The but title. then on the show, it was yeah. like, oh, I'm gonna earn the title the yeah. right way. I'm right. gonna work my way up. I'm gonna, you know, do what I need to do to get my world title shot. Yeah. He's not just gonna cut to the front of the line. I wish I had more time in my life to like follow other wrestling. I don't. I barely even watch like GCW shit anymore because I'm always like, oh, I want to watch a movie. <laughs> I can learn. I learn a lot of it off of, you know, Twitter. Yeah, but I want to watch it's so the fast. Show. You know what the full? Yeah, I got the full experience. The full taste. I'll take whatever sampling I can get. Yeah. But sometimes it's a good time. I know I've had a. There was like one time me and Danny were on vacation in Orlando, and I just bought like a random ass. Uh, Impact uh, pay-per-view that was on that night and it was awesome. Nice. It was a good time. Yeah, their pay-per-views are really good. I think this is like pre-comedy R-Truth. Mm, was he, I thought he was always comedy I mean, he was always a little bit but he was not as much as he is now. Yeah, he's, like, now he's insane. He's yeah. like, yeah, right. He's gone full of Looney Tunes. <laughs> but. but he had all the Jimmy stuff before this. So yeah, the Jimmy stuff. He was, was already a little, little, little cray cray. And he's done. No! <laughs> Yo, I want to see our truth win the Royal Rumble. I know, right? Oh my god, that would be so crazy. Can you imagine? Like, that, I would feel good about that if that's how Roman beats Hogan Street. <laughs> he rigs it for our truth I mean, they're doing that whole thing with like him wanting to be part of the blood, the bloodline, right? Judgment Day. Is it? I thought it was trying to be part of the bloodline. Our truth? Yeah. No, he's from the Judgment, Judgment Day. Day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! You showed me that video. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Sami Zayn is the one who wanted to be a part of the bloodline. Yeah, right. the bloodline. That's the, sort of the same story. Yeah. Whoa. Damn, two big Kofi saves. Oh. oh. There we go. Boot. 
to face. Is he like a cat? Oh man, I just realized that the commentary team is my least favorite all-time commentary team of Michael Cole, Jerry the King Lawler, and JBL. Kevin Nash! Oh, yeah, shit. let's go! Diesel's in the house! Let's tear some quads, baby. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. That would be hilarious. If I was Kevin Nash, I would just like go to every indie promotion and do like a surprise appearance and immediately tear my quads. Like kayfabe, tear my quads. <laughs> That's your new gimmick. That's the gimmick, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. this is why he's here. That's right. Let's go double choke slam the shield. He's here to take a triple power bomb. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. Former WWE champion. So Roman Reigns got to be coming up, right? He also, he had... Nash had a match with Punk. Oh, that yeah. That went they, horribly. Yeah, that was the whole angle the, that they, like, basically nuked the summer of Punk. Yeah. Him and Triple H. So, there's a rich history on display yes. here in this Royal Rumble. Yes, indeed, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and drunk JBL. Oh, he's the U.S. champ at this point. I remember this because he what? never fucking defended that belt. What? He never defended it. And then he finally, like, the the authority, like, had it in for the shield, so they put him in, like, a 20-man battle royal. Yep, there he is. Let's go. Right on cue. And I was hyped about Roman. I liked Roman. Yeah. I ever I always had an eye on Roman. People liked Roman at this time, I'm telling mm -hmm. you. In the Shield, everybody oh. liked him. Oh. As soon as the Shield broke up and then like that was so obvious they were Ooh. just like turning him into the next Cena. Everyone just rejected it. No. Oh no! Peace out, Kof. You're fucked. Oh my god. Yeet. Oh my god. Damn. That was a long way down. That's a beautiful bump. Oh, nice. Oh, come on, you can do it, Zig. He can't, though. He, can't. <laughs> he takes such a good spear, too. Oh man. Let's have AI rewrite this match. We need him. We need him in fucking WW or in uh, AEW so he can take the take Edge, Edge and Christian Spears. Oh no! Yeah. Diesel went over. <laughs> oh. He can't even hang because his feet are like already touching the floor. Get him, Cody! Oh my God! A preview. Oh my God, Cody and Roman. This could be the main event of 2024. Yeah. Whoa. No, the shield's too strong. The hounds. The great Kali! No way! Oh my That's god. That's right, the Hall of Famer. Amazing. He's not in the Hall of Fame yet, he's gonna be. And Kevin Nash just got eliminated. That's horrible. We could have the giant stand up. We could have the giant stand up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they could literally both do three and a half moves. Yeah, right. says Punjabi on the side of his pants? I think the other side says Prince or something like that. Oh, okay. He's the Punjabi Prince. Oh shit, yeah, chop him up. Chop him up. Oh no! Not the Superman punch. Superman punch. Let's see how Kali takes this fall. Oh, that's a he Not took bad. a big fall for him. Not bad. Took a hell of a bump. He took it way, way, think, way more of a bump than I Nash. I think it just it does just say Punjabi. <laughs> <laughs> this is why this is a perfect Royal Rumble to do commentary on, so these people don't have to listen to these 
Oh, fucking Mount Roman Dutra Reigns on the t- on the warpath eliminates both Rhodes <laughs> brothers. He's killing it. Yeah, take out that dastardly punk. Who's gonna save punk? Silence the voice of the voiceless. So I think they're like kind of technically heel still. Let's go, pump the bump, go, go bro fist these motherfuckers. I always liked his uh, his theme song. Go take it's him. It's a shameful thing. Take him to Fist Fest. Yeah. Did they ever talk about Fist Fest? Mm-mm. So apparently in Georgia, like 200, 300 guys meet up every year at this like motel, <coughs> and they have Fist Fest and they fist each other's asses. What? That's not like, where I thought that was going. And it's like a big party. And there's this guy who's like the expert of prolapsing named Hunger FF. Oh my god. And he had three guys with fists in his ass at Fist Fest one year. Oh my god. That was apparently a very viral video. Is that the guy that was on Howie Mandel? Yeah. <laughs> this is, I think this is even before they were calling it 10 Beats of the Bowery. Whoa. They were just like, oh, he's gonna do that thing! <laughs> so pale. It's beautiful. It's, it's art. It's art. It is. He makes it... He's... You know... Well, what's so great about it is whenever he's... He's always... Like, he does these matches or, like, he'll fucking, like, take a bunch of chops or the times where he's in, like, a strap match or mm-hmm. something like that and the fucking marks on his back are so red. Oh, okay. Miz time. Miz with longish hair. I don't remember this. He's probably when he was shooting the Marine for and a half. Right, yeah. <laughs> Someone has a Miz sign. That's impressive. What was it? I think... Was the... What was the first year where they did the Royal Rumble in like a, like a stadium? Hmm. I think it was 2019. I'm not sure. I think it was, because in 2018, I don't think, but 2019 was when Edge returned, and that was, like, the big... Oh, that was, it was, it was after COVID, yeah. Was after COVID? Yeah. When they went to stadiums? I think so, as part of COVID protocols. Because I thought... No, I thought, um... They did a Royal Rumble in a stadium before that? 2019. When Edge came back? 2019, he came back in, in COVID time. No, it came back in 2019. I thought. No, it was it was it was 2020, but it was before the pandemic, because it was January. The p- pandemic didn't really. Like, I thought Edge came back to an empty. No, no, he came back to a huge pop. Okay, I don't remember that. I gotta rewatch yeah, it. Yeah, I think it was a stadium. It was 2020, and I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, Fandangoing! Remember Fandangoing? Fandango everybody? and Summer Ray. And Summer Ray. Wow. My cousin, one of everybody's his, doing the fandango. One of his friends supposedly dated Summer Rae and said that she's Seriously? like super nice, super cool, super wow. hot. Wow, yeah. nice. Whoa, let's go, Dango. I hope I will, bro. If Dango shows up this year at the Rumble, I will That'd pop be dope. so hard. That would be awesome. Bring him back. He's doing the Indies, right? He was the last. Last two two years or so, two yeah. years. But nothing. Uh, Dirty dango. Too consistent. No. Which surprises me because. Uh, he was good. I, I think him. you know he was a fun worker. And like Tyler Breeze, remember Breeze Dango? Oh my god, that was so fun. Well, Tyler Breeze is technically still employed for WWE, even though he hasn't really? wrestled in years. Oh my god! Because he has a contract with uh, Xavier Woods for their online up, up, down, down video game oh, show. Oh, So wow. he's still a part of that show. Interesting. So he gets paid off that, and then I think he has like a wrestling school or something. <coughs> El Torito. El- 
real? Burrito. Holy shit. Oh my god. You're telling me oh that the main event oh of WrestleMania god. 30 could have been El, El Torito. Torito. <laughs> he was going to main event WrestleMania. It could have been El Torito. Ooh, no way, Vince. El Torito. And he's got a number 20 spot. That's a favored position. That's a good, yeah, that's a good spot. That's a good position. He could do it. It could be it could be Randy Orton versus El Torito <laughs> this year in twenty fourteen at WrestleMania. Can you imagine the internet would like decimate this booking oh nowadays if El Torito showed up in the Royal Rumble? They would decimate it. Oh my god, and CM Punk has to like put all Hell this yeah. over. Oh my god, please, I wanna see this again in twenty twenty four. This exact spot. That has to be the real El Torito. I won't accept no substitutes. You'll you you know you'll know Vince is in charge if he fuck if they fucking like embarrass CM Punk in this room. Oh, <laughs> oh my bro, and this is a white El Torito, bro. This is like all white. He's like Sagrada, Toro, Toro bro. Blanco, man. He's like he's like Saint. He's a baby face. Oh hell Whoa. yeah! Eliminate him. No, El Torito needs El Torito elimination. getting an elimination. No fucking way. He's got to work going for it, though. All the He's way. Work for it. Oh, he got him. Hell yeah. Is this the, the same crowd's year? The pissed though because Is they this the like same year that we had the WLC match? Is this the same year? Ah, uh, it could be. I think it's it's in close proximity. Oh my god! Oh my I god! No Roman. Oh, within a year. Damn, one that was a perfect guess. Yeah, he fucking caught him. Holy like, shit! Dead caught him. Oh. Oh, go for the legs. Punk and Roman. Dirty punk. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, it's Cesaro. Oh, my God. You could time it they yourself, but they your stole your watch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it. this fucking gimmick. Oh, Dutch. The real Americans. Oh, already time for a giant swing, yeah. Whoa, straight to swinging? God damn. The Cesaro swing. Oh, the drop kick. Oh, oh. Yeah, swing nice. that motherfucker. No. Let him swing that motherfucker. What are you doing? What do you care? Oh, boom. boom. How do those uppercuts not, like, fuck up people's shit? Because <laughs> I think he like, hits him in the chest. Like, how do you not get concussed? Like, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Whoa, perfection. Why are they doing this zoom in and out? I know, thing? the fucking, oh, oh my god. god, I'm gonna puke. It's so bad. Stop it, Kevin Dunn. Stop oh. it. He loves that shit. Look at that. Woo! Woo! Oh my god. Fuck everyone who's watching this drunk. <laughs> <laughs> who's next? Oh, oh shit. Is it Bray? No, it's oh, Brody. I always loved that disgusting sweat stain around the neck of his tank top. One of the things he said was the best part about his gear is that if he ever lost his luggage, he could just walk into any like <laughs> yeah. any store and buy a pair of jeans and a tank and a you know little tank top and be done. Yeah, you just gotta throw it around in the dirt and pour some oil on it. Bandana in his pocket too. That's like a thing. <coughs> That's like a thing in the gay community with the bandanas. Like the different colored bandanas mean different things. Yeah. When you put them in your back pocket. Yeah, you gotta watch cruising. Yeah. Cause they go through, like, that they 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 do a whole bit about it. Oh yeah. And they're like the yellow bandana means they like pissing. What? <laughs> yeah. It's crazy.
Whoa. Damn, these... These entrants are coming really fast. Yeah, they say 90 seconds, and then, like, if you actually time it, it's definitely it's not. Feel. Jimmy's it's totally got a feel. Jimmy's yeah. got a chance at a main event match. A lot of tag teams in this Royal Rumble. Yeah, for real. It's, yeah, it's just, like, filled with people who are obviously not going to win. I don't, like... Why can't AEW rip this off? Like, you know? Like, I know, yeah. They're, they keep trying to do their own, like, oh, the casino battle. But it ha see, it, but they've done it the wrong way. Like, the whole reason why this is special... Is the countdowns. Like, and this is the main event. Yeah. They always put it early in the card, and it's always for, like, a future implication. Yeah. But, like, this is the main event... At the next pay per view, this is the title shot contenders. Yeah. Like that's the highest stake there could be. Like people, people give them shit about copying WWE enough anyway, without them actually having to do it. So why not just like have a pay per view that's centered around a fucking I would Royal Rumble style. I don't care. My my pitch would be like you call it like just one night. Yeah. And for just one night, the entire roster has a chance at the title. Whoa. And it's the entire roster in one match. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I forgot about this. No, not no. JBL. He's our surprise. <laughs> God damn it. the worst surprise. JBL's going to main event WrestleMania this year? <laughs> God damn it. Was it Jerry the King Lawler not oh available to God. walk up to the ring right now? Uh, and he gets a he like gets a, eliminated immediately, basically like that's the whole spot. As he should. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, take your jacket off so you don't tear it when you go over the top rope. Who's gonna get him, Roman? Oh right, because he does this. That's right. Oh no. <laughs> Roman. That was Seth, I think, actually. That was Roman. Was it? That was Roman. Just another another to pad the Roman breaking the record. Gotta take every opportunity you can. It's true. That's what it's all about. Opportunism. I saw he looks so movie. distraught. What are you talking about? I was watching somebody talk about this rumble, and they were like, Sierra, Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Dwayne's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and that was Roman's intro. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, that's probably Eric. Well, Bray had a match at the beginning of the... Yeah. Pay per view, so he. I don't think he made it into the rumble. The last surviving member of I know the Wyatt family. Fuck. If you don't count Randy Orton and <laughs> and, and Daniel, Daniel Bryan, stay. <coughs> or Braun Strowman. I'd be down for him to come back this Royal Rumble, and then you like. That Set him cool. up for whatever Hall of Fame speech he's going to give this right. year for <laughs> Bray Wyatt. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. That's you true. know, and I would say, like, if you're going to put Bray Wyatt in the Hall of Fame, just put the whole Wyatt family in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Like, they were his, you know, his unit. Yeah, for sure. Put him in there, all together. And then put him in again as the feed. Yeah, looks good. Five men left. It's it's kind of funny that like the entire shield is in here. Is the Jimmy's alone? Jimmy's bye bye Jimmy. Well, remember when we saw the Wyatt family or the the them two, the two of them at the youth fair? Yeah, that was awesome. The I think it was twenty twelve youth fair. Yeah. 
Right oh, back shit. in the house. Let's go. No, don't hurt him. Oh no. That's the worst offense I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know. Like that's the <laughs> what are you doing? least serious looking offense I've ever seen. Like and just to like also be like not like the least visually interesting thing you could do in the ring. I know. Like just throw a spear out there or something, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh no! Future oh, tag team partners, the bar, future tag, future tag the, champs, the bar is kicking each other's ass. This might have been the start of it. They were, remember they had that like best of seven series matches, and at the end of it, they ended up being a tag team. Well, that's right. That's how it happened. Yeah. That's dope. Those, those matches were sick, too. 27. Oh, no. Hey, everybody. It's Alberto Del Rio. <laughs> your favorite drug addict. <laughs> and sex pest. Oh, sorry. I uh, should have <laughs> put that above drug addict. Yeah. Oh, just... Former WWE champion. Former world champion. World. WWE world champion. Oh, okay. He had the big. He had big gold. And he lost it to Dolph Ziggler. The night after WrestleMania, cashed in Money in the Bank. And was he also? That was that like that was probably that's probably like the, the most famous cash in. Yeah. Cash-in. yeah. There's ever been. Didn't he also, isn't he also, wasn't he a Lucha Underground champion? Or? Del Rio? I don't think he was a champion. Okay. But he had so he had that like feud with Tejano. And like, did some other stuff. He was pretty good in Lucha Underground. That was one thing about Lucha Underground, like all these people came in that, you, that were like, kind of sucked in other places and like were really good in Lucha Underground. Like Hernandez, I never fucking okay, thought the, I would like Hernandez. The crowd is about to go wild. Is it Batista time? Their favorite superstar has arrived. That's right. Spin that fucking tattoo on his belly. Batista's here. Bootista in the house. Yeah. The crowd is. Uh... <laughs> I feel bad too because this is like right before Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm. T- I was just thinking so like, that if this had yeah, happened after after Guardians of the Galaxy came out and he was so good and so funny in that movie and made a bunch of people like him, this would have been totally received different. Yeah. completely differently. Yeah. When did it come out? 2015. 2015. I'm pretty sure it's 2015. So it would have had to have been like the 2016 Rumble, probably. But it would have been a completely different story. So Guardians of the Galaxy came out July twenty first, twenty fourteen. So this was twenty. So this is months before. This is months before. So they could just have like just waited for a, for a year. But he wanted to promote the movie, so he wanted to get back in the limelight WWE yeah. to help promote the movie. Right. And yeah. they did it in the wrong didn't way. Quite yeah. <laughs> they didn't. Ultimately, it worked out. But. Right. And ultimately, it turned out into a good story. You know, became the ultimate underdog story of 
Daniel yeah. Bryan overcoming all of Triple H's all of evolution cronies or three quarters of evolution let's go Big E yeah. man old uh, fucking Big E on his own man was a badass still a badass but I don't know at this point he was like a middling big guy cause like they couldn't like you know well, it's like I mean, they didn't it, want to put him all the way up, but they still wanted him to be strong. So it was like, he yeah. he was he was way more fun and interesting in NXT. I feel like like the master of the five count. Mm -hmm. Dusty Rhodes came up with that apparently. Did he? Yeah. Nice. That was his theme song. Three ain't enough, man. Ninety five. Watch out! Oh my God, they're yesing already. They think he's next. Oh no! They thought it was gonna start with Daniel Bryan losing. The disaster is so imminent. Twenty-nine must be in Daniel. Six, five, four. Twenty-nine three, must be Daniel. Two, one. Let's just let the this Wait. speak for itself. Booyaka! Oh no, thirty six one nine. Oh no, no, not Ray. No. Ray, go back. This is like one of the few times Ray has probably <laughs> walked yeah. into booze. In like oh, a Royal Rumble. Oh, so pissed. Like, if this was somehow the plan all along, it's like... It was not. ...kind of genius. No, I know. Not. It was not. I know, like, the, I, you know, the stories of, like, CM Punk mm. going into his office and being like, what the fuck are you doing? Why is Daniel Bryan not part of your plan? Who but want. if it if it had been somehow like some sort of Andy Kaufman like they should have like right now they should have called an audible and been like grabbed the announcer and been like JBL was not supposed to be an entry <laughs> next Daniel Bryan boom yeah it's yeah uh oh and like they pretty they pretty immediately correct course after this. Like, almost, you well, know... because this is such a dark moment. Yeah. And, like... There's such a stain to know, end a Royal Rumble. The, the with next... booze you didn't expect? Yeah. The next night was when CM Punk walked in and told him that. And within, like, a week of that, I feel like they were like, no, this thing needs to be the plan. Which is ridiculous because this had been happening since, like, SummerSlam. You know, like, and they gave him that, like, set of matches that ended with him getting screwed at Hell in a Cell as we watched on live and in person. And then they just, like, shuffled it off. And Whoa. from, like, October... Rey Mysterio eliminated. Up until now. And they cheer when he gets eliminated! <laughs> Just out of spite. He's a heel. He's a heel versus the Mysterio tonight. But yeah, like, up and, like, from October to this point, this had been happening. Damn. At every turn, every time they tried to wow. minimal, minimize Daniel Bryan, this shit happened. I was wondering if they so had, it, like... For them to take until now is, like, insane. I was wondering if they had, like, tweak this on WWE Network to, like, make the booze less. <laughs> No, I mean, I think they, I think they understand that people will watch it because of this, and it's like actually more interesting. Oh, no! Dean! Oh no! I gotta do it. It's a Royal Rumble, bro. We're supposed to rumble. Oh, we're supposed to rumble. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, future Blackpool yeah, Combat Club Roman members. Gets all of them. Hell yeah! Oh. Clean them up. He will not be fooled again. Roman's been wrestling so long, his hair is almost dry. I know, right? A rare sight. <laughs> Bautista. Whoa. Is this the final four? Punk? Sheamus? I think it might be. Batista? It is, yeah. Jerry Lawler and just said Roman. Final four. Wow. What if Batista shows up at this year's Royal Rumble? 
<laughs> number that would third. Be amazing. Number 20. And it spot. comes down to him and Roman. Him, Roman. Well, Roman's and on it. And everyone's right. cheering Roman, for Batista. Roman, yeah, Roman. no, he can't it's be. Gotta be it's gotta be Punk and. Punk and Batista. Kane eliminated Punk. Yeah. I knew it. I remember that. There we go. That's. Oh, you're right. Yeah. See? Even though he wasn't in the match, he still got the elimination yeah, right. on Punk. God damn it. I kind of love that horrible rule that, like, it doesn't matter how you get eliminated. If your feet touch the floor, you're out. Mm -hmm. Where, like, anyone can just, like, come into the match who's not in it. And that's why, like, one of the worst battle royals I've ever seen. Um, They did a tag team battle royal to start WrestleMania 14. And, like, half the people that get eliminated are eliminated by people who aren't in the match. Oh. It's so lame. But if you do if you do it in moderation like this, like, maybe, I, love, I love the injustice of maybe, it. Like, what if, what if we could do the twist on the Battle Royale like that? It's called Interference Royale. Interference? And you can only lose... By interference. By inter- someone from the outside has to help you win. Or else... <laughs> You could put, you know, Triple J in there. Wow, yeah. All the best. That's We're right. still chaining Daniel Bryan. Everyone's on the floor. No Daniel Bryan's coming. Yep, no one cares about any of this. We don't want to see Orton versus Sheamus. I feel like there's almost an element of, like... They get behind Roman just to fucking just to fuck get up the plan. Because he's a young guy. That's, That's the only reason. Yeah, right, yeah. They're like, we wanted a young like guy. Like, somebody, give somebody new an opportunity instead of just, like, the movie star. I also think it's probably CM Punk's fault. Or, in a good way. Yeah. Like, how coveted the main event of WrestleMania spot is. Is because of how much he, like... You know, politic about what a big deal it is. Yeah. You know? Because really just being on the show is enough, but... Yeah, right. Main eventing is, you know, the next level. Yeah. I mean, he he can kind of uniquely speak to that as one of the people who's been in the championship match that wasn't the main event. The main event. <laughs> Let's go. Eliminate him. Reach through time, Seamus. You Catholic bastard. Yeah, point to the mania sign. So much point. There's going to be so much pointing. I can't wait for all the pointing. In the Royal Rumble, that's the best part, is the pointing. The pointing and the counting. That's the best part of the Royal Rumble. They, like, can't even cheer for anybody. They're just like, no, no, no to all of this. What did you do to train for this match? I practice not falling over these ropes (laughs) as much as possible. Not falling as much as I can. Did a lot of rope training. No! Not our beloved hero. They get so hyped, it's like that finally, like, a reaction that WWE wants is happening. Even though, like, not really. But at least they're, like, into it instead of just, like, Imagine, imagine if they had started Roman's championship streak here. Right. And we had a decade of Roman Reigns. <laughs> yeah, for real. Imagine. Imagine what a, what a wonderful world we'd be in. We had ten consecutive years of Roman Reigns as our champion. There would be peace on this planet. Yeah. Batista, what do you want to do? You want to talk it out? <laughs> just, just go over the rope. Just let me win. Oh. It's funny because, like, every time he gets in some offense, they cheer, and then they, like, immediately go back to booing. 
I wonder if maybe LA Knight wins this Royal Rumble. This surprises everybody. Crazy. Surprises everyone. Because I feel like they might. Or Austin Theory. They might actually want Roman to be champ for another year. Yeah. Like, as dumb as it Erase is. Erase that, the Hulk Hogan record. It's so stupid, but. Get him out of the record book. Oh, that them. was horrible. That was terrible. You just speared him in the nuts. So, I was seeing they're making special Funko Pops this year. And one of the Funko Pops is the WrestleMania 30 opening with uh, Stone Cold oh. and Hulk Hogan and uh, who's the third guy? The Rock. And The Rock. Yeah, yeah where he says uh, Silver Dome. Uh-huh. <laughs> and a commemorative Funko Pop to commemorate it. Oh, oh, and the big dog's been boo. eliminated. No. Bootista. 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 Wow, it almost sounded like Justin it Roberts did. said Bootista. It did. Whoa. This is where that was born, too, because fucking uh, someone turn, posted that thing. Turn it up a little bit. Someone posted the, uh, the Hans Molman. I don't really care for Batista's music. I gotta tell you. I think that the, the beginning of it is better. I like the beginning. That heavy ass riff. But this, like, cock rock shit is whatever. What are you doing, Batista? You're just selling? You're gonna sell the booze? Selling, selling that peanut head. Yeah, they're just booing you. How are you gonna react to this? Are you gonna flick them off? What are you gonna do? It's so funny because they literally did the exact same thing the following year with Roman Reigns. And everybody booed. <laughs> maybe, the, maybe the problem was us all along. And they, they tried to get the rock in there to like make everybody like it. Maybe it was gave us. That, gave us that, that great visual of him just like really confused holding up Roman's arm. How could you, Mox? I love his face. Woo! <laughs> What are you talking about? It's a fucking Royal Rumble. Damn, in one Royal Rumble, he eliminated 15. half of the Blackpool Combat Club. Yeah. Oh. And now the glorious replay. Ooh. The epic moment that everybody has been waiting for and that everybody's cheering for. Come on. Point, do the pointers. Are you saying Boo or Bootista? It's not personal, Dave. Yeah. It's not personal. It's not that we don't appreciate you. It's not that. Right. Way. Like, it's... The, I would hope that he would eventually understand they weren't booing him. They were booing... The booking. WWE. Yeah. They were, they're booing that you're not Daniel Bryan. That's what they're booing. Damn. He activated the Pyromania. Whoa, they're waiting for this cue. He is. It's a good shot with his two faces. And ultimately, Batista, Orton, Daniel Bryan is a very spicy main event. It was, yeah, it worked out really well. I mean, they it took them long enough to figure out, to course correct it, but once they did, and they did that whole cool thing where, like, Daniel Bryan occupied the ring and shit. And this was our commentary track. For the 2014 Royal Rumble main event. Any last thoughts, D-Rock, before we sign out? Last thoughts? Um, this, I mean, yeah, it's just like such a... Well, I mean, 
I say it's it's a unique Royal Rumble, except the fact that like the 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 following years is, is basically the same thing. It was just like just trying to force something. It was a dark period. Down people's yeah. I mean that's that's what eventually you know once I once we both I think started to realize that there were other options and started to get disillusioned with how much they tried to just shove crap down people's throats that no one wanted. And, like, it's interesting, too, because it feels like now all the fans that hated all that shit are more or less gone, and the ones that are still there are the ones that have loved the crap that they shoved down their throats all along. So everybody's kind of happy. Good for them. Which is weird that they want AEW to fail. Like, you really want us to all come back... And complain? And, and complain about everything? <laughs> no, let us have this. <laughs> I... I hope... Cody wins the Royal Rumble. Or... That would be two in a row. That would be historic. That would you be know? pretty I think historic. only Stone Cold did it, right? I think so. I think I think did Shawn Michaels do it too? Maybe. I think he might have. Maybe. And and Stone Cold like won his first one. He won um, under nefarious circumstances, and he ended up not going to WrestleMania. So my top three picks to win the Royal Rumble are Cody, The Rock, and El Torito. El Torito. This is his year. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go Cody, um, yeah, I guess The Rock makes the most sense, and maybe just someone out of left field, like... Ellie Knight? Johnny Gargano, I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. I have no idea, like, I don't follow anything about WWE so LA Knight would be my dark horse know where to pick yeah yeah job him out of Mania to Roman let Roman be champion for the next 10,000 years maybe R-Truth let's let's campaign for R-Truth or bust let's go the entire Judgment Day teams up and helps him win that would be crazy let's go um I uh, have been your host Steven I have been your other co-host, D-Rock. Thanks for listening. If you're listening to us right now on Radiate.fm, thank you for tuning in. We are on at Mondays this year, 2024, at 4 o'clock hour at Radiate.fm. And we're available on iTunes, Spotify, and over on Twitter at Vundacast. Check us out. Um, and remember, kids, uh, when booking a Royal Rumble, um, put Rey Mysterio in earlier so they don't (laughs) boo him. If you're gonna have a shitty number 30, make it like a heel so the boos seem natural, you know, and like organic, (laughs) you know. Just retroactively, I'm saying, obviously. Hey, I'm Linda. Hey, I'm Linda. Wundercast? Give yeah. it up for Wundercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Wundercast. What's up, everybody? This is JC David Frank, Green Ranger. You're listening to Wundercast. Find it at Vundacast, and I know they love Effie. Subscribe to the Vundacast.